Private equity has weathered the pandemic reasonably well so far. It wasn't immune to it, but the performance recovered quite strongly in the second half of last year. Two thirds of limited partners believe that one legacy of the pandemic will be taking more account of structural risks. So these include things like pandemics and climate change and geopolitical considerations. These type of risks will affect entire industries and entire sectors. So in addition to doing their diligence on the general partners and the managers, and of course on the companies, LPs will consider these risks as it relates to asset allocation and the way they construct their portfolio. Going forward, I would expect the investors to exercise more selectivity when it comes to specific sectors that were more severely affected, for example, transportation or hospitality, or by the same token, sectors that actually performed extremely well on, on the back of, of the pandemic. Uh, and that would include subsectors of IT and software. We see no evidence for a reduced interest uh, by investors to invest in, in, in private equity. Um, it's a strategy that has proven itself very well over a prolonged period of time, both in terms of the absolute returns that the private equity has, has generated, but, but also on a risk adjusted basis compared to other strategies. In fact, our barometer says that LPs still expect pretty strong returns over the next three to five years. And 90% of LPs think that now is actually a good time for the general partners to invest capital. LPs have been very positive on private equity returns. The majority of them expect over 11% net returns across private equity strategies and regions. And we've noticed that this has been very consistent over the past 10 years. The largest market continues to be North America. The fastest growing geography continues to be Asia. And these are trends that, that have been consistent over the last few years. In terms of the catalysts that will have a global effect um, and including sectors, um, one, of course, is the vaccine rollout. Another one is the new administration in the US. Um, so a number of, of factors to, to watch very closely over the next uh, few months. We have seen no reduction in investor interest when it comes to co-investments. Um, the, the drivers behind the popularity of, of the strategy have remained uh, unaffected by, by COVID. Uh, investors are seeking to average down the expense ratio in other circumstances, perhaps to accelerate the deployment uh, of, of capital. However, we have noticed the crisis has made them rethink the strategy. Our barometer results show that over 40% of LPs expect to rethink this co-investment strategy. Because of the changes in the investing environment, which affects both how they deploy their capital and when their capital comes back as it relates to distribution pace, it's no surprise that LPs will want to revisit how they manage the co-investment strategy.